Hellions, good morning. What am I doing? I am working on the Patreon teaser one second clip per day video montage thingy that I'm doing for the whole year. Soon, soon I will be going out to get a coffee. It, it's my crutch. It's my, my vice. It's my, like one of my only vices. What is your vice? Come here. What is your vice? Oh, I like the Miami type. What? Miami vice? Yes, please. It's nice and warm down there. <laughs> yeah, speaking of warm, it's cold. You guys hear that? That's the spider because it's sunny outside. So, good morning. Welcome to your day. Here it is. It's, it's warm in here. It is so cold outside. I know, not as cold as other places, but I've said that before. And you guys are getting tired of me saying that. Speaking of getting tired of me saying things, here's something I haven't said in a long time. We're headed to the car wash. I don't have time and it's way too cold outside for me to wash a truck and, and it's dirty and it's been dirty for a long time and I know car washes are horrible, but paint job on this thing's ruined anyway because of all the rocks hitting it. So it's like, yeah, I don't know, why not? Let's go and get this thing at least kind of washed so it looks kind of presentable so that we can have kind of bunny ears because Easter's kind of on its way. I don't know why I'm doing that. So there we go. So apparently the truck is supposed to be clean now. <laughs> it's better than it was. No matter what, it's better than it was. Oh, look, the crows are getting all murdery. <laughs> that'd be cool if, oh, they're all gonna probably land in the trees there, but that'd be cool if we uh, flew over and they flew over us at the same time. But that's not gonna happen because they're over there and we're over here and they're not coming. Oh, they are coming back. Look, ah, uh, look, is this gonna work out perfectly? Look at that! Perfectly! Wow! That was amazing! Thank you, crows! Woohoo! And... Pause. Hi, Buffy. Okay, haven't filmed a lot today because I've been busy doing a bunch of other just miscellaneous stuff. I haven't done elect any electrical either, so therefore I haven't got shocked, like I said yesterday. Um, hi, Buffy. Yes, look at a bunch of my old stuff down here. How are you? That good, huh? Here, let's get you square and frame. There you go. So, uh, game plan. I'm going to go out and grab some parts for tomorrow's jobs and get prepared. I've already got the work orders done. I have a bunch of oil changes to do tomorrow, and that's what the whole day consists of. There's like two diesel oil changes, and there's another oil change, so that's going to make my day. And I'm going to go out and grab something to eat because I'm hungry. I was going to say tired. <laughs> and um, then, and then... Later on, her and I are I'll just, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> her and I are going to go out for, oh my gosh, her ears kind of picked up a W-A-L-K. Oh, look, she even, <laughs> my dog can spell. And music paused. Buffy. Do. Ah, 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 hey, hey, get in your bed. Hey, get in your bed. Get in your bed. Lay down. Bed. Bed. Lay down. Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, yeah? I'll take that as a yes. Let's turn the music on. And let's go brave the cold. I'm going to brave the cold. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's go brave the cold. Yep. There you go. It's the glow, Buffy. I'm out for a walk, and it's cold outside. It's not freezing, but it's cold. Buffy doesn't care. She just wants to get the kitty. <laughs> Do you feel better now? We went for a walk. She's panting as I can go. She. There we go. Do it. Let me see it. And she even got the kitty. She did. She got the kitty. There's a cat. And I'm like, ooh, get the kitty. And she was sniffing for it. She didn't act. I would never let her get the kitty. Um, so, uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. We're at the end of the day. I am going to wrap this puppy up so that I can uh, get on with my night. Diesel oil changes are expensive. And it's not the labor. It's the oil. Like, both of these rigs that I'm working on tomorrow take 15 quarts of oil. 15 quarts of oil. Most cars take between four to five quarts of oil. Sometimes seven or eight, but mostly four to five quarts of oil. These take 15 each, and there's two of them. And I'm doing an oil change on another car too that takes six quarts of oil. So that's 36, 36 quarts of oil. That's several gallons, five gallons, is that right? Five, oh yeah, no, yeah, five, no, five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Nine, that's it, I had to do the math. Nine, nine gallons of oil. On the wall, nine gallons of oil, take one down, pass it around, eight gallons of oil on the wall, that doesn't, okay. I don't know why I started thinking about that. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, we're at the end of the night. We are going to wrap up this puppy and ship it on down the road. Oh, um, and I did get a little further also on um, on the Patreon video. So if you guys ever want to get a sneak peek of the Patreon video, it's only a dollar or more a month to, to, to be able to see this. And I actually filmed like, I think I said it earlier, I can't remember. Uh, I filmed a, a short little behind the scenes of that uh, to give it to the Patreons today too. So if you are a Patreon, go look at that because it's a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I'm having to do to reconstruct this video. Uh, where are we at? 31 comments today. Oh my gosh, guys, that's outstanding. Mr. Broach, first comment of the night, and also uh, Trip 27. Both of you guys are talking about An Angie moving here and furnishings and car and stuff like that. Um, yeah, she'll probably keep her car for a little while, I'm imagining. And um, uh, both of us have already thought about border closures and stuff like that, and we are absolutely thinking positively. And if something does happen, then we'll work around it. We always do. That's what her and I do. We we put our heads down and we work as a team and we just get through it. In fact, I'm not sure if any of you guys know this, Angie and I to date have not had an argument because there's no reason for one. First of all, we're pretty much on the same brainwave, but it just doesn't make sense. Arguing, there's no point and it's wasted energy to argue. If you talk about things, you get a lot further. And we agree on just about everything. Smiling in the face of adversity and putting our heads down to the grind, or nose down the grindstone, putting our heads down, barrel, barreling through and getting through whatever life throws at us as a team together. Brandon Miller, first like. What? Really? Mr. Brot? Fran? Well, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate that. And Fran, I hope that you feel better. Jason Fletcher, you say that you've not done anything differently to what you usually do regularly, wash my hands, use a tissue to catch coughs and sneezes, but here in the UK we've been told to expect an order for everyone 70 and over to self-isolate. The police will be given powers to arrest anyone who is out when they shouldn't be. You know, it, it's, it's serious, and I've tried this vlog, I've tried not to talk about this because I don't want every vlog and every piece of media that you guys see to be... The, the coronavirus and all this stuff. I, I like to call it the beer virus just because it at least tries to put a little humor to something that otherwise doesn't have humor, so I'm not poking fun at it. I'm just trying to look at as light a side as possible. Um, and that's why I said yesterday that it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I, I don't mean just with what's happening like here. Uh, we just had an order today uh, for all restaurants to be shut down and only do pickup orders or... Uh, uh, mobile orders and a bunch of other things, but they're doing this to slow down and lessen the curve. The curve needs to be lessened so that the people that are really sick, or imagine this, imagine all the hospitals are busy treating all these people with respiratory problems because of this, like especially the older people or people that are on medication, 
that have compromised systems, and let's say you, you cut your finger off or something. <laughs> you think you're gonna get treated right away? Nah. So we have to lessen the curve. And by self-isolating and stuff like that, that's what, that's what gets it done. Uh, we're not going to not get this. I mean, if you get it, you get it. Aloha Lara, the say that you uh, did different is uh, that you bought a couple more bags of fro frozen veggies, uh, more than normal, and about six cans. Um, that's all. I make a specific meal plan for the week and we only shop for that. We don't panic shop. I only bought the few extra things because having that helps me figure out what to plan the next week's meals. Oh, that's nice. Bren, hit the nail on the head. Uh, I'm not living my life in fear of what might happen, but definitely be smart about what to do. Oh, and that's what I was going to say, because you said it again about getting way worse. It's not just the sickness that's going to get way worse. I mean, <laughs> the financial ramifications of what is going on right now is going to be felt for years to come. And I hope that it doesn't get stupid and down to freaking looting and stuff like that. Unfortunately, in my mind, that's where it goes. But, um... Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get to that. Cruise lines, restaurants, the the greatest people that are going to suffer the most are going to be small business owners and um, small, small corporations, and it's not going to be good. Real Fan Jason, Buffy versus Coffee Pot. That was hilarious. And you like the countdown timer. Good. Sabrina Benick, um, I didn't get his name, but Carrie Ann Olsen uh, forwarded me some... Uh, doctor videos on YouTube that I watched and you said Dr. Mike it sounds like it might be the same person I didn't pay attention to the name though but you say his videos are awesome and they've helped you not to worry um, oh and there there's cases of people getting the virus more than once do you know that from actual news like the CDC like I mean like the real outlets not just news news or from the internet because I'm learning not to trust anything that's said out there uh, Judy Hart, great gift. Way to go, Todd. Woohoo! Wow, Mr. Bro, you talk about a lot of things that are extremely strict of what's going on in Germany right now. All borders are closed to the public. Uh, schools are closed to the end of May. No gatherings of more than five people. Wow. Nicole Flynn, you also say that you were surprised that the alcohol was fully stocked. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I'm really, really surprised. I would think that it would be like... Not toilet paper, but I, I thought that it would be like basic necessities and alcohol. <laughs> a Tiratiki! Dude, I haven't heard from you forever. How are you? John John 9111 here in Ohio, they're saying that they want to cancel school for the year. Well, that's only June, right? So we're already in March, April, May, June. So that's only three months. And that's the height of when this thing's going to be going on. And, you know, we've got little tiny Petri dishes running around. So if we can keep them at home and keep them isolated, it's going to slow this thing down. And we need to do what we need to do, so... Uh, Fun Mike CA, great vlog. Thanks for the peek on the date. You're welcome. Murray Mitchell, there are people out there buying up toilet paper here in Ontario, Canada, and trying to sell it online at much inflated price. Yeah, actually, uh, for us, Amazon and eBay have uh, cracked down on people doing that. Um, which... <laughs> I can see both sides of it. Yes, you're taking it away from people that need it at the regular price that can afford it, but and there's also a lot of people out there that are entrepreneurs and supply and demand. So it's not exactly right, but it's not exactly wrong, I guess. Ex uh, I don't know, to an extent. Uh, the one and only Lindsay Bird, I love your comment. I still have to work, but hubby will be home with Ollie. I made sure we have extra coffee and we are all good on things. Being cautious, but not living in fear. Be safe, Hellions. Keep spreading love and being awesome. That's so cool. Oh, Crystal S, you get a thousand hell points. You said day 3420 has the wrong date. You put 31320, but it's 31220. Thank you. Uh, that's it. All right, guys. Happy hunting. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you here tomorrow. Tomorrow, expect footage of oil changes. Lots and lots of oil. Too bad it's not chocolate. I could sell it. Because then you would need toilet paper if you ate that much chocolate. Okay, whoa. Mind going in bad places. Good night.